who's ready for Halloween? I am! I've been shopping without my sister-in-law. <laughs> She's so mad at me, but she can't shop like me during the week because I actually, like, one of my jobs is to take um, special needs kids out in the community and shop. Can you believe that? That's a real job. Um, so, so they shop and I shop and um, one of the kids that I like to shop with loves Halloween as much as I do. So this is a Halloween haul and this is three different stores. Uh -huh. Three? Yeah. No, four. Um, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, and Target. So I'll try to keep the stuff together. So let's start with all our favorites. Oh, and it's Halloween slash fall. There might be other weird stuff in here too. Who knows what I also got. So let's start with our favorite, the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. What? What? I don't know who is in charge of the Dollar Tree, but dudes, you guys are rocking like everything. Like it looks, it looks like pure one awesomeness like ugh, home goods slash pure one like your decor stuff is really throwing down so I got they had these bushels of leaves see that beautiful bushels I am going to actually because I'm lazy and because of the way my fireplace is I'm just gonna stick those in the mantle like that here and there because our TV is on our mantle so like it's hard to do like the garland thing, so I'm just going to shove these in. And I hope I got enough. I might have to get six. I don't know. But I've got four. So I'm going to kind of throw those in like that. So it would kind of look like that. And I like the garland they had, but I just liked the fullness of these. So I might go back and get more of these. But these are awesome. And more Dollar Tree. Okay. Okay. I know it might be kind of chintzy, I don't know, but they have these at like the Halloween stores. They're the frames with the people in them, and I thought it was cool for a dollar. I mean, how freaking cute. I mean, not cute, but awesome is that? And like we have stairs that go down to the basement, so I thought we could put one there, and that could be my husband, and there I am, the wife. So I thought it would be like that as you enter into... The front room but I just thought for a dollar am I crazy are these really chintzy I don't think they are I think they're awesome so yeah okay you guys know I bought the whole Halloween village and my sister-in-law was talking about putting candles and stuff in it so I got these orange and purple lights and I'm gonna string them through my Halloween village so that it lights up so Listen, I am also trying very, very hard not to decorate until October 1st. And I want to decorate so bad because I have all this stuff and then I have tons of stuff in the basement. I really shouldn't have bought as much as I have, but I love Halloween. And it's on a Saturday and I'm actually going to throw, I mean, like I always throw like a little get together for the kids to come over and trick or treat, but I'm actually going to throw a party for everybody, adults and everybody. So I'm kind of got some extra decor for that. Okay. So I have, I have an obsession with witches and graveyards. So like normally what I do, <laughs> what I do at my house is, uh, I do a big graveyard in the front. I have a path that goes like the way my house is, is my driveway's in the back. So to get the people to actually come to my front door, I have to make a pathway. Um, so through the pathway, they see like wheelbarrows filled with bodies and spider webs and scary things. But I also love the whole idea of witches and stuff like that. So I found this little witch. Oh, I don't know why, but she just reminded me. Like, I also have this really weird thing with old things like anything that looks vintage, she reminds me of like a vintage decoration from like, I guess the, maybe the 70s. I don't know. I love, I love the 70s. My house isn't from the 70s. I know this is not probably most people's taste of a house, but I love this house. And it's also spooky in its own right. Okay, how freaking cool is this? This is a chalkboard that's a, uh, um, tombstone. 
I can write whatever I want on it and say rest in peace or whatever. And it comes with the chalk. Hello. How do you not get that? I love it. Chalkboard. Um, I always get these and I really like the more spooky ones, the more realistic. Is that even a Halloween word? But the more realistic, I'm really into it. So these are window clings and this guy looks as if he really is looking out a window. So I'll put this in the window so I will freak people out because I like to freak people out. Um, I had bought, you know, the garden flag stand and I bought garden flags too at the Dollar Tree and I have it out by my driveway and right now it has like welcome and it's spring flowers and stuff. So I need to change it for Halloween and I normally buy my garden flags at Family Dollar for a dollar, but I must have went a month too late because they're already out. So I saw this and it says, welcome my pretties. So I'm going to hang this on my garden flag. Um, so when you come down the driveway, it says, welcome my pretties. I love it. I love it. I think it's perfect. So actually, I think this is better than a Halloween flag that I was going to get. Okay, and these are just darn cute. That's pretty much all I can say. I also have, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a cat right now meowing. I also have an obsession with cats. And I have a black cat. And I saw this little guy. Oh my gosh, it looks just like my bruisey. So I had to get that. And I had to get the little pumpkin. Of course, these are things I would try to just throw out on the mantle. And wait till you see this guy, because I also have this obsession with owls. Oh, OMG. How freaking awesome is that? Oh, I love, I love him. He looks so, I don't know, he's glittery and he's got feathers on him, but I don't know why. To me, he looks real. I mean, he looks nothing real. But anyways, he looks real in my head. <laughs> I like them. Okay, so we're going to switch over right now to, what is this? I think this is, did I only get one thing from, no, no, this is from Dollar General. Okay, this is from Dollar General. I know Dollar Tree has the thin dollar mats that have trick-or-treating, but I want a thick one that I can use for years and years and years. And I got this room from the Dollar General for $5. And can you see the whole thing? Let me do it like that. It says Halloween and the pumpkins and the witch above. I love this mat. I love it. And I don't really care that I paid $5 for it because it's thick. You know, it's a th it's like I'm going to get a good couple of years. couple of I'll probably have it for the rest of my life until it fades. But then it will still look spooky. Um... Okay, so, <laughs> talk about weird stuff. Well, this isn't weird, but you'll you'll see here in a minute. Okay, so, the Dollar Tree had these owl salt and pepper shakers. I can't find them. Oh, they were $2. I got these at the Dollar General, and they were $2, and they're owls, and I was having a panic attack, like, I have to get those! Oh, and FYI, if you like the... The solar people, um, Family Dollar has them for a dollar, all kinds of Halloween ones. Okay, so I go to the Dollar General mostly to buy garden flags because you can get them for like two or one dollar. I know, it says, let it snow. It has a snowman on it. I was looking for a fall or a Halloween one. They had really cute Disney ones. I don't have a kid, but I told my sister-in-law that she would like it, but it had like um, Pooh Bear holding a trick-or-treat and like some other character, Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. And they were cute if you had like a little kid at home, but I don't. And maybe this is dorky too. I don't know. I like the freaking, I like the holiday flag. <laughs> so I went ahead and I told the girl, I said, do you have any more Halloween or fall ones? And she goes, no, everybody got them in August. I'm like, come on people. So they were putting out their Christmas. So I grabbed one because I don't have a Christmas one because I just bought that garden flag this summer. Okay, totally off topic of fall and everything, but this is more on the run. This is going to be a present to my mom and dad 
Mom, close your eyes. This is a Christmas present for you. Okay, so they um, have an RV and they go um, to Florida in their RV during the winter months. So I bought them this. It is a little birdhouse RV. It looks nothing like theirs, but my mom likes green. It has a palm tree on it. It's a birdhouse. And it's got a pink flamingo. Now, look at this. It was, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. It was originally $6. Everything that they had in the summer was in a little section up front. And it was like 75% off. So this thing was like close to like a buck. It's like a dollar or something. Dollar sixty something. So anyways. <laughs> Christmas present. Not that I'm cheap or anything, but hello cute I wouldn't care what I really don't care how much somebody pays for anything for me as long as it's something that's cute and I like so I would say my parents are the same way um oh I went to CVS too I forgot about CVS so CVS I just bought I've been like obsessing over I have two doors in the front two doors you know what's annoying about that is buying wreaths for your door. Unless I make them, there I can never find the same. And I'm a weirdo about everything has to be the same. Can you tell yet? Same. Um, <laughs> I like things to be very symmetrical. So it, I went in and I saw one wreath and I'm like, oh, I like that. But then this wreath is like, it has a sunflower and orange flowers and this one has like different things. So I'm like, what the heck am I going to get for the front for Halloween? Because I can't find anything that matches. So I went to CVS. And I know it's not a wreath, but I freaking love this. And this is what I'm putting on my door. My doors are burgundy. And I think this will look so freaking cute in my head. We'll find out because I might not have it. So this was two for five. <gasps> It's a little bride and a little groom. So I'm going to put those on my door. And then with that big sign that says Halloween, the mat's going to be underneath. But I don't know. I think it's cute. Cuter than a wreath? I think it's cute. Oh, happy Halloween. Ha, ha, ha. I love it. Okay, so that was my splurge. Two for five dollars at CVS. Walgreens, if you want some upscale Halloween stuff, I didn't buy it yet, but they've got the life-size tall witches and this bone, the skeleton cat. Like, I know it's super expensive, but it's it's not that expensive in the realm of Halloween stuff. But the witch is like 50 and the skeleton cat's 25 and then they have a scarecrow and then they have a skeleton playing a banjo and my husband plays guitar. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back very soon. Well, like hopefully October tenth ish to start putting that stuff on sale. I did that before and like before Halloween it was already twenty percent off. And I saw CVS already had this stuff like twenty percent off, so that's how they do. Okay. Target the dollar spot. Freaking love when they do this. These are those pillows. This is burlap and it has polka dots on it. And <laughs> I, I can tell these are decor. You ever have those pillows? These are just decor pillows. I don't think you actually want to use them. They were $3. I totally got gypped, but whatever. My mom who sews always like laughs at me when I buy stuff like this. Uh, all right. And then this burlap one with the, the button. I keep um, like I keep pillows out on my front bench to make it look pretty. Right now I still have the burlap um, Memorial Day, Labor Day flag one. I had it out there for Labor Day. That's right people. I'm trying very hard to stick with the holidays and it's not fall until the 23rd. So I'm not decorating until the 23rd and I'm going to decorate on the 1st of October. I'm trying hard here. <sighs> okay. Then this was super cute. It has black cats on it and it's burlap and it says boo. I'm gonna hang that. 
somewhere. I don't even know how much was that. Three dollars. I totally. I must have had a brain fart because I try not to. And I see the next thing is three dollars too. I try to stay out of that three dollar area because you know whatever. Uh, I guess I thought this must have been three dollars worth. So this is more Thanksgiving. It says thankful, grateful, and blessed. And I have like an entranceway table. Um, it's made out of wood and it has these little tacks on the burlap so I don't know it's cute it looks Thanksgiving it looks like me and yes it was three dollars I gotta stay away from there they trick people okay so I have said well uh, uh, whatever I have this total obsession with The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead comes out very soon and I always kind of throw not for like people just for me and my husband I throw like a little something together and get some zombies like you know like I have crazy like little things like that that I put out on the day that The Walking Dead premieres and then I make cupcakes and this is the sign I'm gonna put up it says warning zombie zone keep out now if that wasn't cool enough I'm gonna have a Halloween party so look you can flip it over and it says eat drink and be scary I freaking love this sign and hello that was a deal it's a dollar for two signs two signs and one it's not I mean it's just cardboard but it's perfect to just kind of throw up on a mantle and put little things around it so I'm super excited and I'm super excited about The Walking Dead maybe I start making videos about that because I'll show you here in just a minute how obsessed I am okay this is a storage bin I have no idea yet what I'm gonna do with it it has cobwebs on it falling okay so <laughs> my three my three dollar wooden sign fell okay so I don't know first I was kind of thinking like when I have a party I have a party and I <laughs> I have like three different kind of candy bowls that I put out I put out the candy for the trick-or-treaters which I make sure because I am a teacher that there are no peanut butter or anything with peanuts in that bowl so that's the bowl I give to the trick-or-treaters because I don't know what kind of weird allergies you have I know your parents probably take care of it but I just feel bad if you have a peanut allergy and you come in and you reach in there's nothing but Reese's cups so I always have that bowl no peanut bowl I'm a weirdo then I have <laughs> Because if you mix your candies, they taste. So then I have like just the sugary candies in a bowl. And then I have the chocolates in a bowl. So, you know, like your, your sweet tarts and all that sugary stuff is in a bowl. And then the chocolates are all in a bowl. And I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one. But if you mix those two, like you can taste the sweet tarts in your chocolate. Chocolate. But, long story short, I got this and I started thinking, I always like to have a fire. On Halloween just to make our house spooky we have two fireplaces and one I like the smoke coming out of the house and I like to light both fireplaces sometimes I do candles and stuff but I like to have like that flame look when people come into the house so I was thinking I could put my um, logs in here and put it next to the fireplace I don't know who knows I might just wear it as a hat because it's cute and I like it <laughs> okay so that's it. That's my little Halloween haul, but my sister-in-law won't really want me to make the video. So, okay, let me turn. Maybe I'll take this off and take you over there. Okay, let me see if I can take you off. Okay. Here's my obsession. These are all the Walking Dead comic books. This is every freaking episode um, that they played and way past because they do not keep up with the episodes like they do the comic books so I'm way way ahead so I watch woo, I don't know if that will stay I'm kind of crooked now but it's okay I watch like spoilers and Walking Dead things so if you're into the Walking Dead like I am and would be interested in hearing my comments about stuff especially since I read the comic book and I kind of know a lot about it um, put in the comment Thing that yes I'd like to see videos about The Walking Dead because I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet unless people are interested and I know this is a whole nother genre but just because we all like to go shopping doesn't mean we also have other cool things that we're into because I just called it cool 
dorky things that we are into and that's a super dorky thing that I'm into but enough of that and I guess what's the next video we're gonna make oh my sister-in-law will be back oh no, no yeah we're gonna do a taste test video and we're gonna do a shopping video on Sunday so today is Tuesday I'll probably get this video out like Wednesday so taste test will be probably Tuesday and then like we'll go shopping or something Sunday so we're we're trying to come up with all kinds of ideas for you girls so thanks so much to all our besties thanks so much to all our subscribers we're at 92 man and if we get a hundred we're throwing a big giveaway for you, our besties, because we love you. Um, don't forget to give us thumbs up. Hello, thumbs up, please, because we love you. Um, yeah, just thanks so much for subscribing. Thanks to all, all the people that have been, I mean, I love my besties so much because I have like a core group and I love getting comments from you girls and I love reading them and I try to like them or read them whenever I get a chance and we just laugh and have a good time with you girls. So thanks for all my ones that stick by me 24 seven. Thanks to everybody who watched these videos cause who knew, like I didn't know that anybody would be interested in this. And we'll keep watching your videos, keep watching our videos, and stay tuned for more goodies. Happy Halloween! Bye, girlies! Ooh!